It's time to take your old metalhead and throw him out, because there's a new metalhead in town, and he's a cooler warrior metalhead. He's green. Ooh, that's a good slip cover. Nice old medallion. Warrior metalhead Michelangelo. It's green. It's skinnier. It's nice to do a skinny bean one after the big largies. This packaging, I'll say it again, that looks great. As you see it all, just look at that beautiful window, the bricks, the bio on the back. Interestingly, Warrior Metalhead Michelangelo doesn't have its own like unique different bio. So I don't know. I was hoping they would go into the lure of why there was a Warrior Metalhead. As a kid, I had this one, obviously. Look at the freaking... The, can we pause and admire the how cool light piping is? That's just so rad, and his brain always weirded me out. But I didn't know there was a green one. I thought Super 7 made this up, but so I don't remember if it was late in the line or what, because I had a ton of toys. You didn't have all of them, and so there was always all these new toys that surprised you. So let's get him out, and let's see if he compares well or better than their OG Metalhead. I've heard some conflicting things. I just, I love this display. It's always so cool. I just... I would almost buy doubles just to have one like this. So you can see everything in there. You can see our Mikey. Ooh, ooh, he's beautiful. So you get you get three heads on this guy. You get a regular head. I think the difference is the light piping. One is light piped, one isn't. And then here's like an open happy Mikey head. And of course you get the standard, this like radar pack and antenna. You get two chucks, you get a whole bunch of grenades. And then he has the grippy hands there. Whoop. Then he has the Robo Chucks, like so. He has the long, uh, spindly, sneaky hand. And then he has two opening hands and then two fisty hands. So let's. <laughs> the wrist popping off right off the bat. I do want to say. Oh, oh. oh, the head pop. Okay, okay, let's get it together, Metalhead. I like this guy. It's cool. So it's going to be the same figure, right? So if you look at the sculpt, I don't think they changed nothing. So it's just a, a different repaint, which is cool. So I'm interested to see if, if the joints are material any different. But just looking at this guy, I think he looks fantastic. And I know some folks, he's not as like shiny, metally. And I think in the renders, they made him look very metally. But I, I, don't, I don't mind, and I have my, when you make something too chromey, I feel like it's just, like, the paint's just going to rub off or whatever. So, looking at this dude, got the brain. See, this, yeah, this is the one that's, like, painted, not light piped. Let's feel the articulation here. Great full Townsend. Bicep. Single jointed elbow. This hand. I don't know. Look at that too. Like, there's a lot of what the hell is going on there. Is that like extra paint? Yeah. <laughs> so it's not like a loose hand by any means. I don't know. The the whole. Don't even get me started on the whole looseness or if it's just if it's just smoothness. I don't even. I don't know anymore. At least with hand pegs, like as long as it doesn't fall out, that's fine. So there's that, and then absolutely no ab crunch, but you can see kind of the turtle hips in there. Not like rock solid, but I don't know. I don't know what you want him to be. That leg. He's kicking out. He's kicking up. And then no kicking back, of course. And then he has the single jointed knee. I, I do like this. It's cool. It's like the attached plastic thing. And then the standard foot on the rocker. So I don't know. It feels. It feels the same to me. It feels less ratchety on this leg. And like other newer legs so if we put him down I'm, I'm even inclined to say <laughs> the hip joint here is tighter I think it's the same I don't think they've materially changed the figure at all um, But that one's very ratcheted, so I don't know. Maybe it's just like the paint, the paint difference. Because this one I can't feel the ratchets at all, but it's not like it's not like it's fallen. So interesting. <laughs> yeah, you can see. Oh man, 
standing a figure one-handed. The poet. Oh. That leg wants to be so let's. Okay, okay. Let's get all these accessories out. It's so deep in there, right? Like it's just too deep, okay? Okay. As we see all the accessories laid out there, that's a good display, right? It looks pretty cool. How does it compare to the old accessories on offerings? I believe if we're looking now, I think it actually, this one you get, you obviously get the chucks and the grenades. So I think you get more unless I lost some stuff. So technically a better value already. I don't know. One interesting thing I, I do want to show. So the original metal head, metal head, um, you can see this one clips into the hand. It's a hand peg. This one goes into the backpack, right? So if you look at that, you can you can do you can do that cool backpacky thing they they got going on with Warrior Metalhead Mikey. They give you just two hand peg ones. So even if you wanted to put on the, I mean, you still can technically, but it doesn't actually sock it into there. Maybe they got feedback saying. It would be cooler. And these do spin, by the way. Be real careful. They're very spindly, but they do spin as the Robo Chucks. Maybe they got feedback saying it would be cooler to have two Robo Chuck hands. I don't know. But as it stands, we can do that. If we go through the accessories now, so start off this cool freaking backpack. I mean, you always love it in the sticker. So he's like, I don't I guess he's a good guy. He's in green, so he's like targeting like a villain there on the radar. Uh, that's super rad. As we put it on his slots into his back nice and securely and then it just plops right in the chest oh that's so cool I don't know why it's so cool but like as a kid it was so cool to have like the TV thing oh oh and then let's just let's just swap out Oh, that's a... Is this peck too long? What's going on here? Oh, shit. And that, that bent, like, right away? Mm. I, I feel like these are just too, too fucking long. You compare them what's on the hands. As the, the th Oh, God. Do you see that? Do you see how long the hand peg is? And that's, like, way longer. So... I don't know what's going on there. That goes right back in. That's nice. What do you do? Because it's like the peg needs like the little ringy thing to give it structure. Do I just like you chop it down? Is that is that what we're is that what we're doing here? I don't know. So anyways, back back to the accessories. Leave him unhanded. Fuck. I have to lean him forward for now. One bad peg and everything goes to shit. Um, so you have this cool head. Where he's got like the open face, he's having a good time. Not light piped, it's all solid. But it's just painted very well, the detail is awesome. And you have this one. This is the light piped head. You can't really... I don't know if it works super well. Like here's the original light piping. Like you can, I can hold that, right? So I was wondering if I have a good enough light source. Good enough, right? That's, that's fucking light piping. But this one... So it works, you can see. So I guess it's just the color they used. You have to go more red because that, that really amplifies it, you know? And if we look on this guy, I don't think, that's not the light pipe head. Where's the light pipe head? Is this the light pipe head? There's no light pipe head. No. You can. <laughs> okay, so there's the. In in terms of light piping, that's a that's a that's a definite fail. But it's a cool head, nonetheless. You get you get the chucks, you get the chained chuckaroos. That's really good. You get the spindly uh, finger whip hand. Super cool, and I love the shininess to the paint. You get all these. You get four grenades. They're almost like pumpkin bombs for the holidays. Super cool two like 
reach out dramatic hands two grabby hands and then you get the two fists and that's it that's it back to peg gate it's like it's the same size peg so i don't think the peg's the issue right because if i try to stick this peg in it's really i'm really just playing with fire with these pegs maybe this is something i don't no see like the hole it's the hole the, the original metal head and seeing here this is where you can do like the cool thing he's got like the chuck there i guess it becomes like a helicopter at that point i don't know maybe that's something i don't know i i lost this is i, I might have the backpack sitting around somewhere but god the light piping is so good so maybe it was never supposed to be this way maybe it was always two double hand chucks and this original release is, is what they messed up but it is it is it is alarming that you can't <laughs> it's like the hand pegs are just slightly too short uh, the robo chuck pegs are slightly too long so there's not like a good medium you know and i guess they're the same size i think it's the hole like i think i don't have a deep enough hole in this or something but kind of annoying look at the lightning bolt though so the detail on this guy it's cool i do like uh like there's some there's some different details like it's not the exact same sculpt so you can see here there's like the crevice for the lightning bolt a little different there there's there's lightning bolts there pretty sick overall so do you need uh the the two metal heads no but it's fun and you can like if if we put them now together it, it is fun to have them all together and you can have it like they're like battling it out so now there's like an epic battle where now we have like uh, you have a, a double the music turtles with the robo turtles fighting rocksteady and bebop and that's pretty cool that's pretty rad so it's not like you can't make up fun scenarios or you have like uh the two robo dads taking metalhead to the park you know baby metalhead i guess it's like a toddler metalhead at that point and they're all like packed they have all their gear they're all <laughs> they're all ready or or maybe the team just replaces mikey and they're like we like this this mikey better we can keep his mouth shut and program him to act like we like so you know maybe you just get rid of mikey altogether or maybe this is like an idw thing where mikey's trapped in this body because his real body's dying i don't know what i'm gonna do about those hand pegs because you really the, the the robo chucks you can't use these ones for anything else so what the hell are you gonna do what if i just snipped just like the tip off what, then what do we do? What what happens then? Oh, so much better. It's not looser. I did shear away all that fucking paint. <laughs> oh, but look at that. Then it goes in, and you see now I don't. Now I'm not afraid of breaking the fucking peg off. We're doing it. I'm a I'm a full fucking customizer now. Look at me. Look at me go. How much did I cut off? Welcome to action figure customizing with me Ugh. hopefully I, did i do, do too much that time i mean it's a long fucking peg but look at him now he's double chucking now he's double chucking like a badass <laughs> maybe i'm dumb as a kid i always imagine these as helicopter things <laughs> flying through the air but yeah uh this figure is pretty cool <laughs> look at all the paint look at all the chips i think he's great if you already have a metal head though you don't need you don't need to be a completion with this it's neat though it's just i don't know i like i like a good paint variant as a kid it's the kind of thing my parents probably would never have bought me so as an adult i can be as flagrantly irresponsible with my money as i want so can he stand no yeah see that that hip joint is not <laughs> this one is good i don't know what happened so like this yeah this leg is just happens to be super tight this one i don't know i don't know i don't know what happened so 
I, I don't think they changed this figure at all. If if anything, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But look at this guy. Okay, so here's an addendum to this guy. So you saw like my poses. I'm doing stuff, doing cool poses. You may have noticed the stand. So I filmed the video and then afterwards I go through and I do some fun poses to splice in. Over time, I swear this leg has just gotten looser and looser. This is a real issue. Like you can you can see here there it's just like very gappy, you know? Like there's it's a huge gap there. It's it's not on this leg. So some people said like maybe they adjusted the joints. I don't think so. Um and God, I love Super 7. I want to be the biggest Super 7 stan. But it's like, after years of people talking about loose joints, fucking figure it out. You gotta make it work somehow. I don't know. And I get, like, you know, it's an older figure. They're reusing it. But it's like, you gotta have fucking QC and check this shit out. And maybe mine is just, like, a one-off thing. I suspect it won't be. I hope it. I hope it is, though. But yeah, this leg is just, it's loose as fuck. I want to take like pliers and like squeeze it shut or heat it and then freeze it. I don't know. I love Super 7. The, the de details, the looks, it's just so fucking good. But I can't, you can't, there's, there's no way around a loose fucking joint. And yeah, the stands, you use the stand and it fixes it. But you shouldn't have to. I don't, I don't fucking know. Sorry, other metalhead. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I, I love Super 7. Still gonna buy them all, but you gotta get a fucking hold of the, the looseness.